Hello everybody, welcome to another video. My name is Infinity and today I am back with another tip tutorial maybe you want to call it. Today I'm going to show you guys how I actually block my bookmark because it's not something I thought about last week even though I mentioned it in my bed. Um, so here I'm with it today. Like I said, I like to block my um, bookmark before I use it just kind of gives it a crisper shape and all that because sometimes when you're crocheting you can kind of distort the shape of your project with your tension it's a bad habit of mine nonetheless <laughs> uh, here we are so I have two of my mat boards here and I'm just gonna lay out my bookmark and kind of remove those stitch markers so I haven't used this guy yet and when I had the last one blocked, and I kind of showed that off on Instagram, and I think in one of my previous ch channel chats, um, I had it kind of lined up on the center. It doesn't that doesn't matter too much. Um, I have my T pins here. I have my T pins here. Um, they're kind of like stitch markers. I can never keep up with them. But anyway, um, I lined my bookmark up well, kind of along the center line of my blocking board, and. My main goal here was to get the triangular shape on either end to match up because like up here again my tension kind of got things a little wonky. So I just used the line to help me determine where the shaping needs to take place. So I start with either end. And this isn't the end-all be-all way of blocking. This is just the way I've been doing blocking for over the years. So, you know, if you if you think it can be done differently, then I implore you to experiment with it. It's all kind of the fun of creating. So up here, where my stitches are probably a little tight, tighter, I'm just going to stretch them out about the width of mm, two of these squares, so about two inches. And I'm going to pin them at the corners. I think blocking certain things can be really fun, um, whether it's knit or crochet. It's just the shaping of the uh, project, I think, that can be a little therapeutic. But I'm going to place these T-pins into my blocking boards a couple inches apart. They don't have to be like super close up together like maybe a sweater would or something. I think I can stand to move these a little further apart than these six right here. And then at this end, I mean, things are stretched out just a little bit more, but it doesn't really matter all that much to me, um, vertically. So a lot of a lot of the fuss with blocking is basically per personal preference in my opinion. So kind of pull that out. And I think that's actually good. So then I always have a solution of a fabric softening thing and water basically in a spray bottle for my smaller projects and so I just lightly spritz the project um, nothing too extreme like you don't want it soaking wet but just damp um, this is where the shaping takes place and how it'll start to hold and that's basically it I just set it apart to dry 
and um, when it's done drying then it's perfectly ready to use just like my other one my gray one somehow I lost it in the span of two minutes but anyway <laughs> I hope this video was helpful for you guys if so don't forget to leave it a thumbs up you can comment down below let me know how you block your items this is just how I went about experimenting with blocking and it's been working for me over the last eight years or so so I figured I'd share um, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell for future content like this I you know sometimes I just come across these ideas and I just want to share so uh, they come at random sometimes they're knitting tips sometimes they're crochet tips this could be for either or um, it's up to you and until next time guys happy making You can also check me out on Instagram where I post all my whips and current projects and also do pattern announcements. Uh, you can also check out my blog and sign up for my newsletter because you guys get the jump on those new releases when they come out. You can also find the pattern for this bookmark over on my blog for free. I'll link that down in the top comment below. And until next time, happy making. <laughs>